What's up YouTube, it's Jermaine, back with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the new relationship that Uber has with Enterprise Car Rental. How this works is you can rent a car from Enterprise for a week or for a month, and you can use the same car to drive for Uber. And the only reason I'm talking about this, I think this is great um, for a lot of different people. Um, someone like myself and a lot of other people too. Let's say you live in a market where you don't really know the area. You don't really know the Uber market. You don't really know if you can make a profit in Uber and you don't have a car. Here's a solution for you. You can rent a car from Enterprise, drive around your area for a week, figure out, is this profitable? Can I make money here? Is there potential? Is it worth that I buy a new car? You can figure it out without going out, making a really large investment, and then say to yourself, crap, I just don't make as much money I thought I would. Or if you have a car and you've put way too many miles on it, this could be an option for you too. You could just rent an enterprise car the busiest week of the month and then just drive like crazy that whole week. And then once you drive like crazy the whole week, you know, that's how you really make money driving Uber. You have to drive a lot in a short amount of time. That's why this works with enterprise because you have to drive a lot. You're spending more money on gas, but you don't have to pay for maintenance. And you don't have to pay for maintenance every week when you drive. Usually, you know, after a couple years, you know, you may get hit with a big maintenance bill. And sometimes that can knock an Uber driver out of commission. You know, if your transmission goes out and it costs $5,000 and you don't have $5,000. With here, with Enterprise, this is almost like renting a taxi. At the end of the day, you can take it back to them. Not literally with Enterprise. At the end of the week, you take it back to them. But this takes a lot of the stress and headaches away. This also makes filing taxes easier because you can take all of your enterprise receipts and all of your Uber money receipts and easily subtract and you don't have to do the whole 53 cents or 58 cents or whatever the IRS changes it all the time. You don't have to do that deduction and then you also don't have to keep track of your miles because you're renting another car. So you can just write off the amount that you paid to enterprise and it kind of makes it simple. All you need to get started is what? A debit card. You got to be an active partner. To be an active partner, you got to have a current driver's license. And then you need a $250 security deposit. Then from there, you're ready to go. These are all the cities that Uber operates in. Los Angeles, San Diego, San Francisco, New Jersey, Denver, and Boston. So just throwing that out there, um, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks a lot for watching. Peace.